Hello gold farmers, welcome to another gold notch farming video. Today I'll be showing you guys one of my cobalt farming locations. This one's actually fairly new and I don't know if any new routes for cobalt have actually been found or not, but I do remember back in Wrath of the Lich King it was really difficult to actually find a good route. The best one that I remember farming was in Zildrak and it was a, a pretty decent one I guess but not necessarily the best for this route the respawns are fairly quick and if some of you have watched a couple of one to buy golds videos about how the spawning works for this kind of stuff I'm not too sure how that affects the Wrath of the Witch King zones just because I've noticed a very large difference in how the nodes spawn in Wrath of the Lich King. It appears that there are sections of about four or five nodes that will always be up and it seems like each out of I guess each cluster one of them will have a cobalt node up so I don't think you have to worry too much about the nodes down here really filling up. I'm not too sure. I've not had any issues with gathering cobalt from this location. The route takes roughly seven minutes to complete. And that is with the Darkmoon Firewater on, which I do highly recommend that you use. And so far I've gathered almost 30 of the cobalt and a decent amount of the crystallized water as well so it's really not that bad of a location I do know that there are better locations and this one's just more or less a decent one for those who are having a difficult time actually finding a decent cobalt location I will cover my other ones at some point but for now this one is I guess just one of them I'm going to be covering for now I don't know when I'll get to my other ones I've actually got several and I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do Saturday's videos just because I have several different locations and uh, quite a few routes and it can just take quite a bit of time I can probably get away with doing two or three videos a day on Saturday. I'm just not too sure if I want to go about uploading a ton of videos quite yet. I do know that today I'm going to be uploading two. Mostly just because I'm, I want to test it out and just see how well it works for you guys and just see how well it works for me in general. I do keep forgetting to mention that I have been working on my site a little bit more. I am currently right now focusing a bit more on the blog posts for my routes, mostly just because it's fairly hard to share the file. It's very large and it could take quite a bit of time for other people to actually get it all set up. and it's actually difficult to explain how to set it up and all of that and it's just it's a fairly large mess at some point I will probably work on trying to do it it just I'm just not really willing to work on it again I did have it up at one point this was back before I actually talked in my videos and it was it was just kind of a complete mess for me I didn't really enjoy it too much there were several people who had issues getting it while a few others were actually able to get it working and it was just very difficult so the website was my best next option to go about sharing everything and I'm hoping it works out fairly well 
so if you really want to get into farming this route be sure to check out the website it is in the description of my videos for this one I'm probably going to put in a separate link and I'm gonna put routes by it just so that way you guys know that it is for this location I've got a couple of other links that redirect you guys to my website that aren't necessarily for this route it's more so just for my either schedule or the website in general one of the biggest issues I don't like about this route is you've got I believe it's two locations that are pretty dry for nodes which I just crossed one and then I'll be crossing another one here soon it's not that big of an issue it's just it could get a little tedious at points when you are crossing them but for the most part it does seem to do really well cobalt is selling for quite a bit of gold this is mostly just because of its scarcity again I do remember a lot of issues with farming cobalt it's kind of like fell uh, iron in a sense it's fairly uncommon or just very sparse and not very fun to farm so I am looking for locations that are similar to this one I've actually picked up a good amount of the rich cobalt which who doesn't like that several extra ores added on I do recommend that you farm as a druid just because the druids are probably the best class to actually use while farming for just herbs and ores you've got your instant fight form and if you've got stuff that's in the water you can just always go down and you end up in your swim form and it's just really good mobility while farming I do believe that is all for this guide as you guys can see I did pick up a item value of looks like about 1.5k off of the cobalt and stuff alone I did pick up a chest which gave me a small transmog item not too big but there's quite a bit of stuff that you can also do with the cobalt and I'll get into a video about that later on I'm not sure when but that will be all for this guide thanks for watching don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content